The search continues in Nassau County or excuse me for a missing Nassau County woman Jolene Cummings this weekend. FBI agents are combing through a landfill in Folkestone, Georgia. They are looking for Jolene's body or other clues that might lead them to where she disappeared just before Mother's Day. Shelby Delianson has more. We're being kept at quite a distance. They want media to stay out of the gate here. That's the entrance to the landfill. You can see some police cars here and a truck is actually coming this way because remember, while it's now a crime scene, they also have to continue operating a business there with landfill trucks coming in and out of here. You would never guess that on the inside, FBI agents and investigators from all over the country are here to look for a body. It's a horrible thing. It's just another indication of the morality that's just going down. Investigators expect harsh conditions for this landfill, not only biohazards among the debris, but sharp objects and other substances they have to stay clear of. You can see cooling centers set up here in the landfill to help these investigators get through the long, hot days. Most families in Folkestone, like Glenn Bryant, can clearly remember the last time investigators were at this very landfill. Discovered, you know, the remains of a little girl and all that. It's just, just a horrible thing. Yeah, something like this small town, is, you know, it doesn't happen every day. He's referring to seven-year-old Summer Thompson. She was kidnapped and killed. Her body was found here. That was really hard for a lot of people to take. Uh, you know, uh, having watched that on the news and, you know, then to come find out that she's right here among you, you know, that was really something. Bryant says something like this is not typical for this quiet town. It's a pretty safe area. I mean, you know, with one or two traffic lights and, you know. When you drive through Folkestone, you would never guess that this kind of investigation would be taking place a second time. This town is just hoping for answers for the family of Jolene Cummings. We're expecting to have another press conference from officials on Monday afternoon. We'll be there, of course, to bring you the very latest. In Folkestone, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side.